What's up? Uh, my name is Devin, and welcome to Watch Chat Let's Play, where we're going to take a spin through the Titanfall 2 pre-alpha tech demo, which means this game isn't even in alpha yet. They're just giving us kind of a taste of what they're going to do, what they're trying to, you know, accomplish, what it's going to look like. accomplish what's going to look like um, so far the thing I keep on telling people is that it is way better than I thought it was going to be um, as far as game polish and all that stuff um, legitimately surprised at how polished this game is in its you know really early forms and uh, for me as a PlayStation guy I never got to play Titanfall before I didn't have an Xbox I didn't have anything like that so this is my first foray into all this stuff and I I gotta tell you it is pretty friggin sweet so I'm playing uh, Amped Hardpoint will be the first one that we go through, and then we'll kind of adjust it from there as we go forward. Um, essentially objectives, like anything else. You'll uh, capture points, you hold it to amp it to get more points so your Titan uh, drops faster. Um, it just really kind of depends on what of the three modes that are in this pre-alpha tech demo that you get to play. Um, it is very Call of Duty-esque, obviously, it's from the respawn team. Uh, the way the weapons handle, all that stuff, uh, the double jump, all that. It's a very techie-based game, which is what Titanfall is all about. You're a pilot, and then you kill a whole bunch of people, and then you get your giant mech suit, which is called the Titan, uh, dropped at you. Oh, snap. So uh, we did this uh, two weekends in a row. Um, I played the first weekend. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, really blew me away as far as what all you could do. Um, just because I didn't really know what to expect. I'd heard a lot of things, heard a lot of good things about it, uh, but so impressed with what's available, how um, it all... Nah, hold on. Try not to die real quick. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so, died anyway. Um, but just legitimately impressed with how smooth it all is, the transition and all that stuff. It's uh, fantastic, it really is. What I have noticed, there's already a Titan dropped. Um, there are already a lot of people that are just masters of this game. And they're probably the same people that were part of Titanfall Year One. Um, but those are the ones that are, their Titans drop faster, they know exactly what to do. It took me a little bit of time to really figure out what my role was and how to do it and all that good stuff. But once I figured it out, the uh, how the grapple hook worked, how to drop in my Titan, um, how to do the rodeo thing where I uh, blow up Titans and stuff like that. Um, this game is fantastic. And, ah, crap. I have a legitimate, crap. Um, I have a legitimate issue with trying to figure out what to choose between Battlefield 1, which I've already had pre-ordered and paid off for Lord knows how long, and now Titanfall 2, because Titanfall 2 is way better than I even um, expected it to be. So, two weekends in a row, I've played this beta, or pre-alpha tech demo, whatever they want to call it, and... And I enjoy it something fierce. I'm really excited to try out the Battlefield 1 beta because um, I've, I've seen all the gameplay. I've seen a lot of gameplay. It looks fantastic. Um, it needs to really blow me away because those games come out... Oh, crap. Ten days apart. And I make okay money, but it's just hard to justify two games that are very multiplayer in type. What is this guy? I'm looking for you. Now it's just hard to justify two games that are kind of the same build. Obviously, Battlefield is much less techy than Titanfall, but I don't know. The fact remains the same. That all you're going to be doing is multiplayer leveling and all that stuff. So I don't know. So we'll see. I'm excited to play the beta. I really hope the beta is fantastic. I'm a Battlefield guy. I've talked about Battlefield a lot. Man. I gotta stop talking. Um, but so far, so good. I, I enjoy this game a lot. So this is my Titan Scorch. 
there are two titans you can pick from there's scorch and there's ion scorch is more of a tanky base kind of character um, he has a thermite gun which you shoot and it kind of sprays down this thermite stuff that'll damage a whole bunch of people even after you're done the other one ion is more of like a you know like a bigger version of yourself like a big assault looking dude now um, dude's a monster crap did he board me did he get me get off me get off my plane Ooh. You don't want none? You don't want none? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Flame call. But I mean, straight up Clash of the Titans. Come on, come on, you don't want none? You don't want none? You don't want none? Alright, let's pop out. Eject. Um, again, the scale of this game is fantastic. Uh, jump on the back of uh, Titan, try to pull out its battery core, and that's just phase one. I'm uh, coming for you. Oh, crap. Crap. Uh, but it's sweet. All the Titans look sweet. I've only got two of the five, but I'm excited to try the rest of them, too. So really, the only point to you riding a Titan, besides getting a free ride, is uh, keeping other pilots from the other team off of them and then helping be mobile to jump around and, like that, get this guy off of them. Just to kind of be a little, a good little helper. Oh. Crap. That's my fault. And if you pick out a battery, you can jump on somebody from your team and give it to them to help their health out a little bit, which is pretty cool. There you go, bro. Oh, I see you. Oh, I see you. Take that battery though. Get me out of here. Come on. Oh, don't give up on me. Don't give up on me. Crap. <laughs> this game is all about um, speed and mobility. So like you're gonna be sliding and running and dodging and jumping and all that good stuff. Um, I unlocked this ability called hover, where if I'm locked onto somebody, I just kind of hover while I'm shooting, which is pretty cool. It's one of the things I've been using recently. Oh, crap. Oh. Got me, got. Um, awesome. I spawned this Titan before. Uh, I'll, I'll call one in so you can see what that looks like. Where are you at? Oh, yeah. Jump right in and let's dance. Alright, where are we going here? Where? Where? Get him off me! Get him off me! Alright, whatever. 
Pretty sure he's still in my battery core. Oh, sorry, bud. So then the epilogue, um, they're trying to run for their ship and you got to kill them, obviously, because that's how you do that. They're shooting at me. I didn't even see that guy. That ain't even cool. Yeah, I'm not afraid of no ghosts. Got your big dial. Do I have battery to give to you? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I did. All right, so the escape point is all the way over there. So we are very far away from where we need to be. And there's a counter, and they try to board the ship. So you can try to blow up the ship and... Um, well, there it goes. Oh, there's another one. So that was Amped Hardpoint. Uh, pretty sweet. Like I said, I like this game a lot. It handles very, very well. Um, we'll do a couple more of these in the different game modes so you can kind of see what they're all about. So uh, for all of us that watch chat play in Analog Addiction, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya.